We all know primary physicians are busy, and that's why St. Alexius is teaming up with the University of North Dakota to offer a hospitalist fellowship program. That's one of a kind. Medical reporter Mark Charter joins us now with more. Mark? Ellen, that's right. This program is geared to help lighten the load for primary doctors. I spoke with hospitalists at St. A's earlier today, and they say it's been a good experience so far. Hello. If you're a patient in a hospital and it's late at night and you need medical care from your doctor, what happens when they're not available? Well, that's why hospitals like St. Alexius have hospitalists. Hospitalists are primary care physicians that specialize in taking care of inpatients. Patients that are hospitalized, they have unique set of medical care needs. Now, St. A's is offering a hospitalist fellowship program for internal medicine or family practice doctors who are looking for more training after their residency. And it's the only program in the region. That provides them with one year of additional experience, education and training, so they are more confident and competent in taking care of inpatient care needs. And speaking of physicians, those who have been through this program say it's been pretty rigorous, but it's all about getting the experience. And the fellow usually ends up seeing like eight to ten patients, a little bit more maybe on a busy day. Uh, and we are in charge of, you know, rounding on those patients and then writing progress notes every day and then doing new admissions and discharges. And if you're worried about receiving the same care from a hospitalist that you would from your primary physician, don't. The name of the game here is communication and because hospitalists are on hand 24-7, doctors say it's making everyone happy. It improves patient and family satisfaction, it improves nurses satisfaction because nurses don't have to page and wait for the physician to come and round and see the patient. It's a program that's making hospitals more efficient and more important, improving patient care. Now, after I spoke with St. A's earlier today, they also said that because they've collaborated with UND and critical access hospitals around the area, they can help North Dakota patients even more. Ellen, back to you. All right, thanks, Mark.